First of all, thank you so much if you have watched all of the 15 episodes of RX Tower All in One series. And if you haven't, you can click on the card and start watching right now. In all of these 15 videos, we were busy with her two heroes, that is Observer and Observable. They are indeed very important for any reactive framework, not only for RX Java, but if you have watched our RX Java introduction, we have discussed three heroes, remember? So Namaste everyone, in this video episode, we present you our third hero from our three O's, who is nothing but Operator. RX Java operators are really important and to really leverage the power of RX Java, we must know about operators, how they work and when to apply them. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, if I start showing you how they are useful and how you can combine different operators to get some result that you have never even imagined possible, then you will be tired and overwhelmed. Instead, I'll start by showing how these operators work. So it will give you the tool to use. And in this series, we're not going to only show you how these operators work and forget about it. We will be covering the practical implementation as well. So enough talking, let's code. So I'm going to start today's episode with simple but two very popular operators, map and filter. You may see a lot of RX Java examples, code and libraries do use them. So you can see that we have an observable here which emits 1 to 5 and print it. So we are going to use map here. One thing to keep in mind in operators are nothing but a special type of observable. That means you can literally change these operators here in between observable.subscribe. If you look inside the map, then it takes an interface which can take an element and return something totally different. Let me show you what I mean by that. So it gives you the item that you can get from the immediate observable in the chain. And it also expects you to return something. And it can be of any type. But for the sake of simplicity, let's return the same item that we get here. Let's run. There we go, it prints something that we could do without even chaining the map here. So let's do something interesting. Let's multiply item by 2 and run again. And there we go, we get all the numbers multiplied by 2 printed here. This thing is possible because map here is nothing but an observable and as we subscribe to the map which transforms the data in between. And it's not really necessary that map only needs to return the same data that it receives. Instead, it can return anything and subscriber needs to just adjust accordingly. So I have got the same example as the previous one here. So what we can do here is that instead of an item multiplied by 2, return hello world. And run. And there we go, it prints hello world 5 times. Now that you understand map, let's use the filter. So let's change filter in between our observable and subscribe. Filter is also an observable which receives the emission from the top level observable. So filter here takes a predicate interface which expects you to return a boolean. So let's do a test here. Let's get the item here and return false every time. Let's run and see what happens. <laughs> what just happened? We see no output in the console. Filter here, let us filter those items that you don't want to reach to the next observer in the chain. In this case, our subscribe method does not get any item to print. Anyways, instead of filter out everything, let's filter only odd values here. So write item mod 2 equals to equals to 0. And if this is true, only even values are going to be emitted from here. So let's run and check what happens. 
And there we go, it prints only even items. Works as we expected. Now let's combine map and filter. So we have the previous code snippet here. Let's try to chain map after the filter. This chaining is possible because the filter is nothing but an observable. And let me tell you a secret. Operators work like observer and as well as observable. So here, take the item and multiply by 2. So we expect that filter will only emit 2 and 4. And the map will multiply them by 2. Let's run and we expect to see 4 and 8 as output. Great, it worked. So, was that interesting? There are hundreds of operators are there in Rx Java. We're going to cover all of them one by one in the future. But for that, you can subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss the video that we upload every Sunday. And if you have any doubt regarding operators and map and filter in general, then you can comment below or message me any of my social handles. So it's me too here signing off. Thank you for stopping by. See you next Sunday.